my team brought this indoors today. This is literally outside. So a bit more on movement or more specifically how we want to arrive at that ball. So remember we're doing this just for technique, not for fitness or speed. You loads of other things you can do for you know squat thrusts, star jumps, burpees, all that sort of stuff. So we're looking at where we want to arrive at that ball, be able to strike it cleanly with power. So let's go back to it again, let's go forward. So there's our front wall. What we're actually looking for is to arrive at that ball sideways on again, not in that closed position with our feet or miles open with our feet, but in that sideways on position here, trying to strike that ball opposite the front knee. Um, hot top at the moment, spacing. So we're talking about the spacing between our arm here and that wrist and racket. So we don't want it to be too far away from us. We don't want it to be too tight into us. Don't, remember, it's just that throwing action again we're looking for. So sideways on, um, feet comfortably placed. We do not want to be in that full lunge position unless we have to be. So feet comfortably placed here. Also that spacing between our body and the ball. So sideways on in here, rack it back, looking to strike that ball for a straight drive at the top of the bounce, opposite the front knee. Same thing applies obviously on the back end. We're doing the back end shot. So sideways on in there, rack it back, striking opposite there again. Give us our straight drive. Okay, just from behind, so I've got a look at this. So, in again, making sure we arrive in this position here, comfortably placed, and then when we're striking there again to give us that shot into the back corner. Easy way to check this is to chuck some balls round in your mini core move from the T area and then just stop when you arrive at the ball. If you can be balanced and comfortable, the easiest way to check whether you've got your feet in the right place is simply to get your wrist opposite the front knee and put your racket over the ball. As you can see in this instance, this looks pretty reasonably good here. If the ball is behind you, the only way you can get that straight is to flick it and conversely, if the ball's miles in front of you out there, the only way you'll get that one straight is to hold your racket face open. We're not looking to deceive the opponent, your opponent, by using your wrist for a moment. We're just trying to give you the best chance of getting, making that ball go where you want it to go. Okay, technique guys, work on it.